On the Young and the Restless, Billy Abbott Can't Sleep He's struggling so much with getting some shut-eye that he recently spent a good portion of an episode talking to himself, using his mobile phone to record it. Although it nearly put some viewers to sleep, it didn't seem to help Billy catch some Zs. So here's what we think Billy could do to help solve his insomnia, young and restless insomnia issues over the past several years. Billy, Jason Thompson, has dealt with many of his demons. He basically embezzled from Jabot to support his out-of-control gambling habit, which led to a yacht named Jabot and ultimately cost him his job and weakened many of his relationships. Then, he and Victoria Newman Locke, Amelia Hiley, got back together, and he chewed lots of gum and finally had a heart-to-heart -heart with, himself, in a cabin, and was suddenly okay. Billy has been a somewhat better version since he started dating Lily Winters, Crystal Glill. However, he still started a revenge plot against Adam Newman, Mark Grossman, and Victor Newman, Eric Braden. Thankfully, he came to his senses, did the right thing, and called the whole thing off. The cure for Billy's insomnia despite ending his most recent battle with Adam, the person who caused Delia's death, Billy still seems restless. He has a whole new job supporting Lilia Chancellor as the chief operating officer, but that doesn't seem to be enough. Billy talked it out and worked through a lot of the thoughts he had stuck in his head, and it inspired a fabulous new idea for Chancellor's collaboration with Hamilton Winters. However, Billy still can't sleep despite all the um, adult exercise he's getting with Lily. There are a few things Billy could do. Being immediately for the alcohol probably wasn't the best idea. He could also take some sleep medication, but he hasn't mentioned that so far. However, the one thing we haven't seen him do through all the times Billy allowed his demons to take over is actually seeing a therapist. He may have gone to rehab at one point, but it seems like he even skipped out on that early. So far, Billy has only relied on himself to work through his significant issues. While verbalizing everything is an excellent start to coming to terms with his life, it really seems like a total missed opportunity for Billy to not see a therapist to help. We think Billy needs to solidify his recent improvements by seeking professional help. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. The Young and the Restless, Your, airs weekdays on CBS. Check your local listings for airtimes. For more about what's coming up in Genoa City, check out all the latest that's been posted on Y&R Spoilers, and for an in-depth look at the show's history, click here. Adlock Test. Why?